Happy Monday, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. As always, I'm so excited to have you guys here. A little life update, I finally finished all my licensing exams. I had the last one just last week. If you guys are new here, I graduated with a degree in naturopathic medicine in May and then I wrote all my licensing exams this past summer and early fall. So yeah, I'm finally done with those and now I'm just waiting to get all my results back so because I didn't really get a summer break this year I'm basically taking my break now so yeah I've got a little bit more time to cook this week I also bought bones at the farmers market so I really want to make bone broth uh, but yeah I'm gonna make some breakfast and you guys probably already know what I'm gonna make sourdough bread with a little bit of honey on top and then eggs and stewed tomatoes on the side it is so so good For lunch I wanted to try making some chickpea patties so I started by blending up some chickpeas I chopped up some onions grated some carrot I also added some parsley I'm on a huge parsley kick right now some cumin garlic salt and pepper and then to bind it all together I just beat an egg and added that along with some almond flour I definitely added too much of the vegetables I had a hard time getting the patties to stick together but they still tasted okay and that's kind of what happens when you just don't really follow a recipe I I baked those in the oven for about 20 minutes on each side and then I topped them off with the last bit of sauerkraut that I had in the fridge and some tahini and that was my lunch. Like my dreams are a curse. Someone show the way. Because I might need someone to help me sleep at night and see another day. See another day. When you are all out of words. to make some stuffed squash because I've been seeing recipes for it all over my Pinterest. So I started by roasting some delicata squash and while I had the oven on, I decided to roast my bones that I got at the farmer's market. I also just chopped up some random veggies to put in my stock as well and some of the tops of the leeks that I had. I added some bay leaves and my bones that I roasted for about 30 minutes and then I added some water and we'll come back and check on the stock in a few days. But back to dinner, I just started by crumbling some tempeh and then for my marinade, I use tamari, maple syrup, some fennel, sage, smoked paprika, and thyme. And I just let that marinade while the squash was cooking. I also sauteed up some onions, Brussels sprouts, and mixed in my tempeh. I then stuffed that all in my squash, and I just put it in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes just to warm everything through. I picked up some more sauerkraut that afternoon, so I topped it with some sauerkraut, parsley, of course, tahini, and that was my dinner. Back and forth. And I want to go back on what I said yeah. Yeah. 8 a.m. I couldn't fall asleep again Been overthinking all the little things I've said I'm sleep deprived almost every night And I wish that I wouldn't think instead I know the sun is up and I got things to do But I don't think I've got the energy to move 
and I go back to the dreams again But I shouldn't be sleeping when It's daylight now and I'm stuck in my bed Daylight now and I'm stuck in my head Cause I've been just not all on my own And I should miss my way out of my home It's daylight now, I gotta open my eyes Daylight now, can't be wasting my time Just thinking about what I should be thinking of And it's about time Staying in the same bed I need a kickstart just to change this I don't wanna waste a minute on the basics But it's keeping me feeling so amazing Stop on stretch Brush my hair, always looking like a mess Only oh, me have to go and do the rest Give it a little more fit, I'll be set And I hope that you'll miss it Cause it's daylight now and it's stuck in my bed Day and night, never feeling my best, I know and for dinner, I really didn't feel like doing too much cooking. So my go-to when I don't really feel like cooking is just to make some pasta. I started by sauteing some zucchini and tempeh and some olive oil. Of course, I also added some parsley, added some lemon juice, salt, and pepper. And then of course, I tasted it. Very important when you're cooking, just taste your food and then you can adjust the seasoning from there. I decided it needed a little bit more olive oil and balsamic vinegar. I also topped it off with some walnuts. It was so simple, but so delicious. Honestly, when I'm in a crunch just having some pasta with olive oil some veggies a protein source and some fresh herbs it just makes the perfect dinner So it is Wednesday morning and my bone broth has been cooking for about 36 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and strain it. And then I figured while I'm in the kitchen, I also wanted to make some ginger shots just because I've been seeing some recipes for them and they look really fun. I also soaked some walnuts last night because I want to try making walnut milk. I got a new brand of milk. I've been using the Elmhurst nut milks, either the oatmeal or the walnut one, and they're really good. Um, they're just really expensive. It's like $9 for this thing of milk, which is just way too much for milk. But the only ingredients are filtered water, oats, or walnuts, and then salt. So I figured I would just make it at home. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with my broth, strain that off, and then we'll do the nut milk and ginger shots. my ginger shots I used some orange lemon ginger and then I also had some random celery in my fridge so I threw that in as well and I also added some turmeric I just popped that all in my blender and then I strained it through a nut milk bag you definitely don't need to make your own homemade bone broth and nut milk and ginger shots to be healthy but I've had the extra time lately and to be honest I haven't been feeling that great since coming off of my summer of studying and I want to talk about this more in another video but I don't think I realized how much stress I've put myself through this summer and just over the past few years. A lot of times when you're running on stress, you don't even realize how tired you are until you take a step back and give yourself some time to rest. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna touch on that in another video, some changes that I've been making both inside and outside the kitchen just to nourish my health, feel my best, and yeah, just prioritize me. I actually 
filmed this but I ate in a week a few weeks ago and like I said I didn't really realize how much stress I had put myself through this summer until I finished all of my exams and my appetite this whole week was actually pretty low. I didn't really even feel like making a whole dinner that night. I just ended up making some pumpkin pancakes and that's really not a good sign if you're never hungry. A lot of times that can just be due to stress. I know I personally just have no appetite when I'm stressed but I'm super excited that lately my appetite has been coming back. I've been hungry again in the mornings which is so exciting but yeah I topped my pancakes off with some peanut butter and maple syrup. So I'm heading downtown for the day. I just kind of need a day to get out of the house and the weather has been so nice. So I kind of just want to go and walk around a little bit, maybe go into some shops. I just made a coffee and I'm taking that to go. And then I packed some of my pumpkin bread in case I get hungry. And yeah, I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. I'm all home from downtown. Um, I just picked up this cookbook. I'm borrowing it from one of the naturopathic doctors that I worked with this past year. It's specifically for people with autoimmune conditions and I don't have an autoimmune condition. It's more of like a therapeutic diet book, but it's still got some really good recipes. So I want to try that out. Also, you guys know I'm reincorporating like meat and dairy back into my diet and I'm just not that well versed in recipes for foods like that. So I picked that up. I also made a tea at work. This one has ashwagandha, chamomile, hibiscus, and dandelion. I am super excited. I love the taste of chamomile and hibiscus, which is usually why I incorporate it in my teas. I mean, it's got therapeutic benefit as well. And then I really love dandelion. And ashwagandha is a really great adaptogen. Oh, it smells so good. I showed you guys, I had some figs while I was out and I had my pumpkin loaf, but it's like four o'clock right now and I'm quite hungry. So I'm gonna whip something up really quick. When I made my bone broth, there was still actually a good amount of meat on the bone. So I was able to save some of that. And then I also scooped out like the carrots and the celery. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm this up with some of the broth. I might also make a slurry with like maybe some tapioca starch and and water just to like thicken the broth up and I might have that with some sourdough. We'll see how, I will show you how it turns out.
I'm worried about keeping you safe I'm worried that I'm not that lucky I'm worried that they never gon' love me I'm worried that I'll be a fucking joke I'm worried that I don't have control Don't worry, baby, don't worry Go and get some sleep while you always in a and for dinner on Friday, I basically made the exact same stuffed squash that I had on Monday, except I used a, I think it's called a kibocha squash. I think that's how you pronounce it. That was my dinner on Friday. And as always, just a gentle reminder to nourish your body both in and outside of the kitchen. Just remember that you always have permission to prioritize yourself in any way that makes you feel your best. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some meal ideas or inspiration. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. And I'm so excited to see you guys in the next video. Bye!